Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's me Martin Stan here, I'm the good look at the uh, Irish 1000 guineas, uh, a run at the Curra, at 4.15 on Sunday ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Aidan O'Brien's got his usual ham fist for the ventures, there's going to be a new uh, spaghetti western, a fist for the ventures with Aidan O'Brien, Johnny Murta as a gunslinger. Um, he's got Famous in the race, who's had a run this year, Liddy Langtry who hasn't, Remember When, three parts of that Dylan Thomas this, seems to me like more of an Oaks filly, we'll see how they get on. I'm going to swerve all the Aidan O'Brien runners, ladies and gentlemen. Um, just going to leave them all alone. Jim Bolger is very, very keen on winning this race, of course, up the road. Trains down there, not far from the Curra. Kill the Grain, of course, was third in the 1,000 guineas in England. Uh, controversy given to spe special duty. Of course, winning, uh, got beaten in France again, yet they still give it a race. I think she'll finish seventh in the Coronation Stakes and still get it. Uh, Kill the Grain, though, there's only five horses on the near side in the 1,000 guineas at Newmarket. I think the form's a little bit suspect. I'm swerving kill the grain. Of course, if you look at the video again of the race, the horse who won the race on the far side was Music Show. Uh, Mick Shannon's also. Ryan Moore's going over to ride that. She's going to be a short price, but I don't know what the form of Nell Gwynn's like, ladies and gentlemen, the race she won before. And she's a short price to win this race. I tend to like back in the local trained horses over in Ireland in this race. Of course, there's Lady, Lady Springbank, of course, who... Uh, uh, trained by a uh, Deegan out there. He used to be assistant to Mick Shannon's. The Lady Springback, my Irish correspondent, my best Irish contact, says he's definitely better with some giving the ground, ladies and gentlemen. Thinks the ground just might be a bit too lively uh, over there at, uh, at the Curragh on Sunday. But the one also um, I'm very impressed with the other day was at Andre Farpool's called Al Salali. Now that horse has now joined uh, Mr. Zaruni at Newmarket. I think he's going to be, uh, you know, looking for his first classic winner. Al Salali won a Group 3 event over in France for Andre Farb in April. And there's been good money for this horse, who's been supplemented for this race by Godolphin, um, Anna Salali. Um, again, decent form in France, hard to sort of weigh it up. Um, I think she'll be there on the premises. But also I'm going to have an each way bet on around the 6-1 to one mark, ladies and gentlemen. Trained by Tommy Stack, who's been in tremendous form since the Irish flat, flat season started. Uh, the horse I like is Dolly for Lolly. She's won two out of two. Very impressive the last time in a Group 3 event at a cover over seven furlongs. Really powered away up the hill. Looked like a horse, a filly was really, really going to get further, look better over further, got loads of scope to improve. I think she's a solid each way selection, the stable's in great form. Tommy Stack, of course, helped by his son Fozzie. Uh, I like this horse a lot. Dolly for Lolly for me, ladies and gentlemen, each way in the Irish 1000 guineas on Sunday. A reader virtue, ladies and gentlemen, Martin Stanley signing off.